he's having to do the mopping up. He's been chased well there by Williams. And it's a penalty to Wales. In Paris during the World Cup, still hangs like a shroud over French rugby. Costello, just the start he was looking for. Not two minutes on the clock. France rumbling their way towards the Wales 22. They're now over it. The arm is out from Luke Pearce. Not a sight that followers of Joe Roberts will enjoy seeing, earning just his second cap today. And Ramos slots it over. Wayne Wright. There goes Josh Adams. Gareth Thomas that time with a carry. It's there for Thomas Williams. Dyer just pumps the knees. Oh, now there's a hint of a numerical advantage, but Cyril Bayer made a crucial tackle there. His beard. The gap has opened, the vision of the win, and that's how easy it was. This young man is very special indeed, and that was all about vision. And then the acceleration from virtually a standing start. As you see here, that the bounce of the ball just tempts players out of the line. They get slightly unstructured. And with a player like that, with footwork and pace off the mark, that job at hand. Really difficult, and that's what Wales have to try and contain this afternoon. Well, we saw the power there of the France pack, and that will be a source of concern. France's big easy slot set. Yafu there, showing a bit of good rugby brain. I'm not sure, I'm sure how much thinking he does apart from right I'm going in this direction and as fast as I can There's Aldrich Good to see him back after missing the Italy match working in confined spaces, but doing it to good effect the LBRA presents it Scrum half back on his feet Here's Antonio They've got the heavy lifters doing their job now. Here's the other one, Miafo. Good hands for him in. This is so much better from France. Space here for Fiku. Fiku gets through his man and scores the try. And that is what France can do to you if you miss your tackles. It's an outstanding finish from Gail Fiku. And my God, has he done some carries in this first half. But look at that ball out the back there. The Welsh defence all sat back thinking... He's going to carry again, but it just released the pressure and allowed the space to be taken on the outside. That ball is the killer blow. Joe Roberts rocked back on his heels, and then the space is there. It's a great finish, though, isn't it? Costello might be slightly disappointed by his attempted tackle on Fiku, but... And they conceded nine tries, thumped here by New Zealand. There goes Dyer. You see every time he gets the ball, the French defence checks itself. They know they have to be careful when he's got his hands on it. Little dummy shown, and through goes Watkin. It's a two-on-one, and Thomas Williams. The response immediate from Wales. What a weekend of Six Nations rugby. It just gets better and better. You can't get ahead with the defender inside you. It makes the attacker's decision for them. They've got one option. I've only ever won it, if that's the right word, once each. France in 2013. Wales 21 years ago. There it is for Aldrich. Aldrich with the offload, the long pass there out of Fiku, one try for him already, the alarm bells ringing, 
Blue jerseys everywhere. Nolan Le Garret. France got over the game line. It was slightly off point. The ball from Le Garret to Fiku. But then as all the defenders rushed around the corner, it was actually captain. The blue jerseys converged on him. Adam Beard from a standing start. That is the 22, you can see. Gareth Thomas, Costello. That time it was Rowlands. Costello once more, trying to help Raffle. And back to Costello and Thomas Williams. Try saving tackle from Fiku. The danger not gone, though. Wales need quick ball here. Williams. Williams is a two-on-one. Surely they must finish it. They have done. And Joe Roberts. His second cap. His first test try. Wales back in front. Setting the standard there. Ooh, that ball. Nine times out of ten, I would say give it. But given he scored... Okay, advantage France. Oh, sure, Another advantage. penalty advantage being played. So it's a fourth penalty. Dylan Lewis there with the turnover. Deep in this Welsh 22, and this is our opportunity for them to get their breath back. For Thomas Ramos to knock over another three points for them to close the gap and reset. Can France this time be clinical? Sebastian Taufa for Noa. That's Molvaka. Two metres out, France. Colomb is there, along with Roman Telfi for Noah. Le Garret appealing for it there is Dupoutier. This time it's not going to come out wide. Desperate defence here from Wales. Chance to catch breath, they're going to go the other way, and this time they do score. The referee just getting under there. I think he may refer this, but certainly, according to my eye, he got the ball down on the line. And if it is awarded, it will be the debutant. And France, potentially, probably, most likely, scoring seven points. Fantastic work from Mason Grady. He's turned it over. There's Will Rollins, on to Dylan Lewis. Win it. A long pass off the left hand, and Bier, 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 Well, he sized up Josh Adams, who could do very little about that. They've done well to retain possession here of Wales. I don't quite understand what they're trying to do at the moment. They've got 68 okay, minutes on the, on the clock. It, and they're just causing themselves problems. They're playing so deep in their own half. Very rarely are you going to go from that deep. The chance down from Telfi for Nua. And the Frenchman thinks he's scored. What anticipation from the Leon Giant. The Wales really have shot themselves in the foot because they're trying to go through so many phases, not making any yards, and, and it was almost like a resistance to kick with 68 minutes on the clock at the scoreline as it was they didn't need to panic they were not chasing the game they just needed to be in control now they've made the job nigh on impossible the fog of despair is being lifted on French rugby by design, but rather more out of uh, suspension and injury. But they may well have found the key to opening the door to their new future. He went through the 300-point ceiling in his Test match career with his first kick. Seven out of seven to this point. And now, as easy as that, it's eight from eight. They'll move alongside Scotland. 
and sense that there is just a chance for France to end this with a top half finish. Damien Pinot, the offload, and it's Maxime Luku. Who's the recipient? Two inside balls. First one from Ramos, first from Pinot. Just changing that point of attack, picking off defenders.